Okay, headed for the Holiday Inn here, Route 17 South, Hasbro Kites, New Jersey. Okay, Gab Gabriel's uh, Grill and Bar and famous uh, Bananas Comedy Club, which is tonight. Here we have a tour bus, PacificWesternToronto.com. How about that? There you go. PacificWesternToronto.com. All right. Getting ready for a new potential shooting the shit. Mega Life 21 Mayhem shooting the shit uh, show, which is not about anything serious. It is not planned, it is not rehearsed. It is totally ad-libbed conversation at the Gabriel's Grill and Bar in the Holiday Inn, okay. Wow, could you get any brighter than that chartreuse color? You know, it's funny, all the fishing, all the fishing lures are that color too. But I never really caught any fish or by fishing with lures that color. Okay, there you go. Bananas. Bananas Comedy Club. Let me check out, uh, see if the fountain's on. I don't know why the fountain is off. Were they trying to save an electricity or maybe there's no water? In ah. Yep. No, they basically have it off. So every time, it's really not cold out. So I don't, I don't know why they have it off. So anyway, um, just going to wait for Sir William. Oh, here he comes. I see his car. Um, uh, all right, might as well enter now. right now uh, hopefully there'll be room at the room at the bar but I hope oh there's room at the bar bless their hearts look at that okay we got Gabriel's here Gabriel's setting up the uh, table here setting up the table and there's the porch very limp. They, can, they have to be crisp. I said, come on, people. What's wrong here? Yeah, nobody wants mushy french fries. Right. They can't get it right. And the timer is, obviously, the timer's not working properly. Oh. They can't get their temperatures right over there. This morning, my buddy inside, you can see his, you can see his breath. Yeah, they say, he broke every time we turn. Slow 60s. Why do you have the air bro. in here? I said, come on. Thanks for the wine. I said, how many people do you see me walk out of here? Are you pushing business out? Is that what you want to do? You don't get it. Right? They're going by how they feel in the kitchen. That's what they're doing. They I, I think that's it. From our people. You know you don't want to hear. It's lip service. You don't want to hear crap. Let's be honest. You know, so, boy, you get mad. You know? oh. I said, I told you your urine when the men's room was out. It's been out for over eight weeks. They didn't know. I said, how do you not know? You're the manager. Don't your male employees use the bathroom and say, it's not worth it. Eight weeks and you don't know? You have to have me tell you it's out still? I said, what's going on here? Ah, yinling lager. Isn't it stupid? God, I said, I said this is insane. It just shows how you can make money and not have a clue what you're doing. <laughs> oh boy, it does. After a while, it just gets cheap. But, cheers. Happy days, Copenhagen, yeah. and all that stuff. He just seems uh, telling people anything. My dad, he knows I quote my dad all the time. And dad was always say, You can't get through to people. You just can't get through. You tell them anything. Right over there. Frustrating. Frustrating. It really is. Thank God they got college 
Where? Football? Football instead of, instead of soccer. <coughs> You eating anything? I don't know. I can't uh, taste this at all. I'll take a look at the menu. I'll take a look at the menu or I'll go to Chinese takeout. Yeah. Either or. Either or. I don't care. Maybe I'll have another French onion soup. Yeah. That. I know the sweet potato soup was that awesome. Yeah, you that came with the prime rib. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh God. I love their their black and orange uh, uniforms. Whatever. What, Star is born. Yeah, it's supposed to be phenomenal. Oh, you didn't see it. They, they rave about it. So. Uh, <laughs> Great music. Do you like her? I do. I do. I like her. She's a sweet lady. Mm -hmm. I will never forget her interview a few years ago. Mm -hmm. She said, I'm a homebody. I love to be home eating my ice cream or whatever in my sweats. It's all in the ice. Because I'm not like that at all. I said, That's nice to hear. Mm -hmm. A down to earth girl. And, uh, I like that. Yeah, they say it's tremendous. So. Where? Um, we're going to the flat track race. Where? At uh, Meadowlands. Oh, there's one tonight, really? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Where we're headed, but it's been drizzling all day. Yeah. I know, so, so and they won't race it's raining. So. Oh, really? They cancel? Yeah, you know, I guess you can't. Uh, great sound on these TVs, Aggie. Yeah, yeah. A great sound on the TV. <laughs> you got to hear a thing. Uh, that a closed caption, I guess. Ooh, that looks good. I notice how much how much accurate Verizon files captions are compared to the way Optimum was. They were misspelling everything. Oh, and they delay. They're yeah. Like three sentences behind. Yeah, but it sounded like cave caveman talk, you yeah. know, when you read it, or, or, or you know. Do you follow the racing circuit a lot? Yeah. Much of the Yeah, you're not far at all. No, no my God. Miles? Yeah, that's all. Ten minutes, give or take. Nothing. Where y'all from? Uh, New Hampshire. Oh, well, here you are, New Jersey. Is Dover the capital of New Hampshire? No bet. Yes, I know. You go to Jersey. A friend of mine did a sem fitness seminar in Dover, Dover, New Hampshire, New some Hampshire. MMA I, I, uh, I gym. Go all the time, Lake Winnipesaukee. God, that's beautiful. I love that. I love that. The great memories. It was wonderful. It's the same mountain chain that goes into Vermont, pretty much, right? They just nice. have a different name for it. Yeah, it's the white and the green mountains. The green, and then it, it connects with the Adirondacks going into mm -hmm. Lake Champlain, whatever, Lake right. George. Yeah. Uh, Congress, the capital. Concord is the capital, yeah. so Dover is just, it's just a big city. Yeah. Is that famous for the grapes, or has nothing to do with it? Uh, no, nothing to do with Nothing it. to do with Concord grapes. And Nashua. Stagecoach. Concord coach. That used to travel across the country. Yeah. That's where it was. Now, now, now Nashua is a bo kind of a border uh, yeah. city? Southern, yeah. yeah, Nashua. Yeah. 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 Unfortunately, that was 
Yeah. <laughs> That's not that long though when you think about Stage it. Stagecoach. Yeah. I like the way you cut lemons. You, you do it like a Japanese samurai, you know. I don't like I don't like it at all. <laughs> you like it. I, don't like wah, wah, I, I hate the way you cut lemons. Make everybody happy. No. Remember I mentioned that to you? I said, you know that Aggie, I hate the way she cuts lemons. Yeah, she's like a like a samurai, like a ninja. You say, it's very smooth. Uh, you're amateurish, Aggie. You're a lemon amateur. Yeah, you but she's dressed in black. You got to be a real pro uh, to be wear black. Oh, uh, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Lemons and limes. You get your menu if you want to look at something, man. Yeah, I guess. Your menu, Aggie, he wants? Like a menu? Please? Yeah, it's a Saturday on Strong Favor. That's Spanish, I'll have you know. Trying to stretch out. Now, now the good thing about New Hampshire is there's there's a there's a portion on the, on the ocean on the coast where Vermont has no no coastal. Yeah, it's got like four miles of coastline. <laughs> Eighteen, is that what it is? Yeah. Do you all know each other, or do you just meet here? Oh, okay, because you're different states. So. Yeah. I know. This is crazy. It went on the yeah. Bad ones, huh? I am not your father. <laughs> no. Boy, you like Indian motorcycles? <laughs> you don't like them? <laughs> no. Uh, I mean, I like all motorcycles. I'm not a fan of it, but it is what it is. It's, uh, I guess I don't, I'm not a big fan just because it's not, I mean, it's not Indian. Just the name. Yeah, I mean, where is the bottom and yeah. put the badge yeah. on it. I mean, it's really what it is. It's a victory motorcycle with an Indian clothing. Thank you. Ooh, okay. Holy smokes. You can't get your mouth open now, why? Oh, wow, look at the what size of that? that, huh? What is that? I think it's a ordered club. It's a turkey club. Yeah. What if they have oh, hot? Do. They have corned beef. <laughs> Look at that. What was it? Sandwiches. Oh, here we go. Turkey club. No, no pastrami or, or corned beef, but they have. Ask them. Maybe they have it. Hot pastrami. Turkey club. That'd be funny if they had came out with a caveman Maggie, club. Do you have pastrami, or turkey people club, different club. Or corned beef yeah. with a little leprechaun on top. No. Not even a leprechaun. Thank you, Lucky Charms. Ah, uh, me Lucky Charms. Where's me Lucky Charms? Oh, my God. Philly, Philly cheesesteak, classic turkey. As opposed to non-classic turkey. Chicken gyro. I'm used to getting my Middle Eastern stuff at Sahara by Carvel. I'm so used to that. The Egyptian guy making my oh, the shwa the shawarma. Oh, you know, by the crow's nest, there's a by Carvel on Summit Avenue. Yeah, yeah it's a, they cook food there. Oh boy! Oh no, it comes with tzatziki sauce. Yeah, what the heck? This is, it's not too bad. Georgia 
tech kicked the butt last night. Georgia Tech? 67-31. I wonder what, what team is that with the cool uniforms? Black and, or, black and orange. Oklahoma State. Oh, okay. Uh, who are they playing though? Cigarette. You had to take, you, had to, you took, um, Mucinex is good for six hours or 12 hours or something? I think it's 12, no, or eight. You can only take up to four a day. No. If I knew you were going to take Mucinex, I would have brought you enough because I have plenty at home. I didn't know you were going to get Mucinex. Right. Yeah, I, it comes in a big box. They're easy to swallow. They're ob oblong, you know. Um, yeah. They're, you know, almost like soft gels. They're pretty effective. You know, I know that. I hope it starts working. Yeah, and next time that that jerk off picks you up or whatever. Oh, that Joe isn't. He's a moron. He's an idiot. You got everybody's PO'd about that. You got should have at least said, Billy, I'm pretty sick. He's still over to pick you up. Yeah. He didn't say a thing. Well, now you look. Well, next time you got to question this idiot. I'm going to say, are you coughing? Are you coughing a lot again? Or sneezing or, or uh, both? Do you well, have anything? Well, then don't pick me up. I'll drive myself. Thank you. Drive, you know? drive yourself or just, you know, uh, po postpone uh, whatever. That's the same. Right back. Yeah, man, it's, it screws up your uh, weekend. Yeah. I'm all messed up. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus. I guess I'll have, because of all the rain outside, I guess I'll have the fried calamari. Okay. Lightly fried. So whatever little coastline you do have, you probably have like marinas over there and everything. New Hampshire, uh, like, like fishing mar marinas or? Some, but it's mostly uh, beach and... Uh, Very rocky, right? The main coastline is, New Hampshire's not too bad, because we don't have much of it. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, beach and resort. Some private homes. That uh, makes, makes it up. Yeah. Well, being that it's such a limited coastline, is I can understand about resorts or bed and breakfasts or hotels and so seafood restaurants. Sounds like a restaurant. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. 
So they try to use filler. Yeah, so what she did was she got me a lot of filler. Son of a gun. Filled with lobster meat and the thing of warm butter before it was. That sounds like putting white rice in a burrito to so they give you less beef. Yeah. It's a filler. It's a, I know all the tricks. I, they can't fool me. <laughs> yeah, wow. Wow, that sounds great. Sounds like Newport, right up Rhode Island, had this lobster. Uh, company with a restaurant right at, on the pier, you know. Uh, it had a funny Indian name, Aquidneck or Aquidneck yep. Lobster Company. Am I right? And it was in Newport, and the restaurant was right on the on the pier. Oh, really? I thought New Bedford was New Bed New Bedford, Mass was interesting. They had, um, I know they they filmed the movie Moby Dick there when Gregory Peck was around, and there was a fountain in New Bedford that was fascinating. It had all kinds of uh, sea creatures with Neptune in the middle. It was it's like a huge fountain, but it wasn't active. They weren't like the one over here. They weren't they weren't using it. But as far as like a sculpture goes thing was huge. It had like every sea creature you can think of. Yeah. Oh, the racing yacht. And now, of course, they don't have seats. You have to sit down and put guns and hold on to the table. So we went out, and it was so foggy before we started out, we couldn't see anything. Uh huh. But you heard this loud five horn. No. Yeah. The captain said that that's probably a Chinese freighter coming. As soon as we broke out of the fog, there's this Chinese freighter. It was so big. I mean, it was just monstrous. And when I by it anyway. Well, in, in Mystic Seaport, me, me and my ex at that time, we took a wooden skipjack. Oh, okay. Uh, um, I don't know if it's a schooner. Or it's, it was called skipjack something. Or it's yeah. sail, a sailing vessel. I've never been on, on an old-time sailing vessel where there's no motor. It was like peaceful. You can hear like the wind, the wind hitting the sails, and it's like, yeah. Yeah, I guess that's not far from Rhode Island either, Mystic. No, right, right near Groton, right uh, the yeah, the submarine base. Yeah, I'm driving a group there Monday to, uh, to Mystic uh, Senior Center. New London. Yeah. yeah. And then if you go west, it's, you hit Mohegan Sun and, uh, and Foxwoods, yeah. Yeah, Foxwoods. No, I used to go uh, there once upon a time, often, especially to, to Salem Mass for Halloween. It was like Mardi Gras. If, it, if, if, if Halloween was on a weekend, the streets were packed. If it was on a weekday, it was kind of dead. But I liked the food up there. Like, oh, who'd you uh, get, Jerry? Uh, I got fried calamari. Oh. There's a place called uh, Kelly's Famous Roast Beef that has um, unbelievable clam chowder. You know, all the typical New England uh, specialties that oh. you mentioned, the lobster roll. Like and there's a place in Salem called Red Sandwich Shop where you get fresh blueberry pancakes the size of this plate. You can only eat two of them. Even if you're a big guy, I mean, and it came with slab bacon, Salty Ford. coffee, home fries for like five bucks, because because it was a local place. I, I always want to know where do the locals go, and they told me go to Reds. Man, fresh blueberry pancakes like that, would, you know, not 
these diners in Jersey that give it a pie filling? Yeah. Oh, come on. Our diners are darn good down here. Let's oh, yeah, out. sure. Sure they, they are. are. They're world famous. Our diners are great. Well, we could say we're the world, world famous, the too. Diners. They really are. <laughs> oh. Then when I went to the house of the Seven Gables, I couldn't even stand up. Where's that? In, in Salem. What is it? Well, it's like a, it's supposed to be haunted, but then again, what what building isn't haunted there? Yeah, I used to go to the house of the Clark Gables. <laughs> the house of Clark Gables. <laughs> and when you, after you went, you says, I really don't give a damn, right? Frankly. Well, the Charles W. Morgan, which is the last sailing, the old-time whaling vessel in Mystic Seaport, those people were short. You should see how small the, the bunks yeah, were. Everything's evolved. Oh, how is it? It's excellent. Ancient aliens said that they they they, they have strong evidence that the Anunnaki might have been here for 400,000 years and converted the Neanderthal man into Homo sapien to well, experimentation. They, they put us here. Yeah. I, don't keep, I keep telling everybody. I mean, could you imagine that 400,000 years? Sure, there's a blink of an eye still. It's nothing. But people will not listen. We're probably just an experiment of theirs. We're like a giant ark. Why so many different species? How did that ever happen? Come on. Come on. The races, the species of animals. You can't get through to people. You don't. You don't see apes coming out of the jungle, walking upright. Well, who's that one? <laughs> no. You mean the one with the orange hair? People, will, people don't listen. They, they're ignorant. They, uh... Uh, it doesn't look like it, but it's still gray. It's like a light, light drizzle it's, on and off. It's just weird weather. And this was not on the news this morning. Well, so I don't understand what happened. It's odd, odd. It was supposed to be nice all day, and I'm like, this is gray and wet. Yeah, where did this come from? Boy. Apparently they didn't get the memo. <laughs> oh. Good? Yes, sir. This one is a lot of water. When it's the weather's like this, I feel like eating seafood. He was telling me about the awesome lobster roll he had. You know how big it was and um, but they try to put cheap filler in it like oh, celery. Get off the hot dog roll and give it a hero roll. They get a real lobster roll, you know, big size, like, like the uh, New Orleans uh, po boys. Big job. You know, what's that famous restaurant in New Orleans? The Acme Oyster House. There's a lot of them down there, though. Al Hurd had one, he was a famous trumpeter. A number of them did. And then again, they say one of the greatest steakhouses in America is the former football coach, Don Shula. The Don Shula Steakhouse is unbelievable. It's just phenomenal. He gets, no, he doesn't have that many, though, but they have a few, but not all in Florida, but mostly. And the other one that's good out of Chicago, they say, is Michael Jordan's Steakhouse. Very, very good. I could open my own. Call it Gift from God's Steakhouse. <laughs> oh, I killed myself. Pretty sick, isn't it? What about the slaughtered steer? I'd go if it was called that. Because I, I like my meat, like almost rare. Well, medium rare, but. Be in between. Because they always overcook it anyway. Well, they give you a lot here, don't yeah. they? 
Too bad we can't make money in the music industry. This girl's been making funny noises and it's all sounds it's all electronic. Have you ever heard them when the when they've been caught singing with the electronics off? They sound awful. They really a lot of them can't carry a tune. Yeah. The so, electronics so. you could make I could make you, I could make anybody, anybody off the street sound great. You can saw country can probably sing. Anybody. Good. Anybody. They're called harmonizers. You can raise octaves. You can do anything you want. So they, Hollywood literally creates their stars. Jeez. Literally. Duh. Yeah. Well, I think Rock Hudson was forced to get married, so it looks good, even though he's gay. They didn't no, want that. Merv Griffin with Zsa Zsa Gabor. Merv Griffin? Yeah. No. Ava Gabor. Ava Gabor. No wonder he used to go, ooh, all the time. They say him and De Denny Terrio were the real couple back then. Who's that? The, the guy that was on Dance Fever. Remember that show, Dance Fever? Well, it was a Merv Griffin Productions. Well, of course. With disco. Disco, doing, you know, disco music. Well, they, they give you enough? Well, the least I can do. Did you tell them tonight it's a special $30? Uh, what? No, 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 don't get to fill her head up with that. $30. But it includes tip. Yeah. Propina, as they say in Spanish. Hey, where's my propina? No, that's propina from the, uh, what was it? Well, oh, the real McCoys. Might... Remember that TV show? You weren't here yet. You weren't even born yet. You weren't even born yet. I don't know, I'm just echoing. Oh, Walter Brennan, who's that? Richard Crenna, who's that? Who's that? These are all actors, and well known. But it was like a, like a, what you call it? Like a, kind of like a low order kind of thing? A what? Like low order? No. Remember he a Very poor family that loved each other or whatever. Remember he whore? No. He Hall was a country laughing. What's laughing? I know. Now you know what, Aggie? I, I, it. I love when we have these it's talks. It's just so wonderful. He can, when I talk to you, I hear crickets. And he can. <laughs> oh my God. He, he can sing the he can sing the he Haw famous he Haw song. Where are oh, where are you tonight? You know the the whole thing. Yep. I used to get two country guys. They sit on TV and everybody laughed. Where, oh, where are you tonight? tonight. Why did you, you leave, leave me here alone? alone? I searched the world over and thought I found true love. You met another and <laughs> you were gone. <laughs> that was a good show. That was like was so back funny. in the 80s, you know? Yeah, it was so funny. And, and their TV station was KORN TV. They had eight cartons in the back. The news, the news guy. It was, had it was eight a country, cartons. country laughing, exactly. And laughing eight. country That's style. Way before my yeah, but check it out on your uh, phone sometime or something. It's it was big. Oh, really big funny. Hit. You mad another? <laughs> and, oh, and then God. they had Johnny Cash. They had like they this. had everybody. Oh. Anybody who was big in country was on that show. And they did that song with them, with their yeah, back turned yeah. to the audience. Hi, I'm Junior Samples, and my cars are for sale this Junior week. Junior Sample car oh, sale. That? Oh, that was funny stuff. Lulu Roman was the uh, chubby, chubby girl with the black hair, right? Roy Clark was such a talented dude. Anything with strings you could play. Now, Buck Owens, he sang, but Roy Clark was like, he was it. No. And the barber, the barber shop where everybody was shooting, the, shooting the shit. Well, that's true to life. That's what they do in these small towns. They all hang out at the barber shop. Even when I used to go to the barber on on the boulevard in Hasbrook Heights, Chez, Chez Vincent. They all hang out. You should see all the discussions that go on. Yep. Yeah. Especially when Chez, before he retired, he loved bringing up anything, sports, politics. I couldn't believe it. It was even a pleasure oh just God, like you got a lot there. Wow. You made another and the calamari will be gone. No, it'll go. I know. What do they call that? Camaraderie? When people get together and just shoot the shit? Camaraderie. Camaraderie? I'm not looking to be a judge on that. 
That's what Tom Arnold said in that funny show. He's looking for the Donald Trump tapes uh, that, uh, uh, that the uh, Celebrity Apprentice uh, executive has hidden. We shouldn't talk about politics. <laughs> 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 Tom Arnold. I don't believe in that. I believe in good debate. Whether you agree or disagree, no reason to get upset. In the, uh, invigorating. My, my friend, we all do. We go at it. We discuss. God, you are you crazy? You know, if somebody, a newcomer comes along and gets mad, what are you getting mad for? I don't agree with you. Just stop it. Grow up. You know, you have the right. Hey, remember the famous saying by one of our famous founders: "I may not agree with what you say, but I will die defending your right to say it." Well, this guy, these people say, "Oh, I was brought up. My father always taught me not to talk religion or politics." You think your father taught you wrong? I said, "Don't be afraid to talk about anything. <coughs> Discuss it. Debate it. Argue it. Nothing wrong with that." Well, we, you know, we've had discussions about people and the N word and this and you, that. And, uh, you can argue, you know, but don't kill each other. Standards, like real quick, if a black kid walks around with black power, you think nothing of it. If mine says white power, I'm a racist. Why? Things like that. We do all. Oh, we go through. We really. People, if I walked around eating a lobster roll, does that mean the PETA, the animal protection rights are going to like... So no, we discuss everything. We throw everything around back and forth. And, uh, good, good to argue, good to discuss. Debate. Not good, but not tonight. You don't agree with me? Get out. No, no. <laughs> no, he, no he, had, he had a nice meal. Don't, uh, don't rile him up. Don't rile him up. <coughs> now, if I ate lobster, if I bragged on YouTube about lobster rolls, I'll probably have the PETA people come down on me, right? The animal rights. Peter I think it's, Yeah. There's no way to kill a lobster that's not... Well, lobsters have to migrate like in herds as opposed to crabs, which are kind of like all over. Like in Maryland, right? Chesapeake Bay, crabs are like all over. Where I'm from. Oh, Lord. This, this blue claw crab in the Hackensack River, Nothing but you wouldn't want to eat it. <laughs> Aggie, could I please? That was an itching joke. Aggie, you can know, you can use this. They say that the higher the bacteria, the bigger the crab. Like the, the worse the water is, but then you don't want to eat it. So. What's amazing is you can go to Costco, big box store, right? Buy cheese crab legs. Oh yeah. And they're like, what is it, twenty-seven dollars a pound now? Oh wow. That will get you about one and a half legs. One and a half legs. It's most, yeah, it's mostly shell. They are, they I hear they snap them and they regenerate. Mm -hmm. Like uh, yeah, they, they like when, when well, they, I, I guess when they when they farm raise aquaculture whatever they'll, they'll snap, you know, um, a claw, and then they some legs, back. and they'll give them just enough limbs to, to to be able to eat again. I remember years ago, so over ten years ago, my whole foods in Ridgewood, mm -hmm. and in the deli they had a nice lobster salad. Back then, they said, Billy, this is $29 a pound. I said, what? And they said, you know, it's a Billy, you're better off buying a lobster and making your own. It's cheaper. $29 a pound. My God. And you know, the way I make a sandwich is not thin. That would last me two days. That's yeah. about it. So, oh. That's about the going rate, though. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's really? actually less expensive than I've seen in Connecticut. Yeah, less yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, and the br from boat to the restaurant. Was that fresh? Yeah, and, wow. and the British used to consider it peasant food yeah. back during the col colony it colonial so days. So low. They used to feed it to the inmates in prisons. Yeah. And the inmates 
raised up and had to sign a contract. We will not feed lobster to us more than twice a week. <laughs> that much. Now look at it. Amazing. One of the world's biggest de delicacies. I love I love deep sea scallops. Oh, I love scallops. Scallops. scallops are great. Or as my friend from Boston says, scallops. You you swordfish, people pronounce you pronounce it wrong. Is great. It's I scallops. Big tuna steaks. Oh, all that stuff. <laughs> I like them all. I love them all. Base scallops is good. I've never met a scallop I didn't like. You know, but they're all good. I had base scallops and fettuccine and franchise sauce, and uh, they were scampi. Actually, they're, good stuff. they're pretty good. now to watch qualifying and stuff like that? Um, I don't know, to be honest with you. Um, I'm not sure. I, I don't know if it's sold out or not. It would be a big crowd, sure though. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Is this the last race that you've come to Yeah, that's true. First time they're racing here. Oh, it is? Mm -hmm. Why? Why now? <clears throat> I'm not sure. Um, I'm guessing the sport's gotten more coverage. It's on TV now and stuff, oh. so they're probably getting better, better venues instead of out in the cornfield somewhere. Yeah, where it began. Yeah, so. I, think, uh, I think that's a big part of it. I had friends that were very big into that, obviously being from Indiana, but they worked for that newspaper, the National Speed Sport News. So they cover all the big races, and their boss was, I don't know if you remember the great broadcaster, Chris Economac, who was huge in the industry. Boy, they lived for racing, and I said, I said, this, I have to watch one minute, that's it. Going around an oval, well, that's enough, I don't need any more, that's, you know, that's done. Uh, they lived for, they loved it. I said, I said fellas, I gotta tell you, this is boring, yeah, it's just, Really horrible. It can be. You hear it, you know something that you're in. It's exciting. It's like any other sport. It's really involved. It's just as exciting as you can ever watch it. Oh, it's soccer. Oh, soccer. I'm like, oh, God, shoot me. <laughs> Blowout is two nothing. I mean, really, such a slow scoring sport. What do you all follow? A race circuit a lot? No, we went to a NASCAR race. Oh. It was the wedding year, so we were there. We got together and went to the race. It was exciting. They put out a big, big presentation from the military flyover. Wow. All that stuff in the middle of the race. Wow. He was wrong. Do you want to wrap it up? It was very good, but now I don't think so. <laughs> I'm sure. Really boozing it up tonight, huh? Have fun. Have fun. <laughs> Knock your socks off and enjoy yourself. The drink. I you people that sniff it and they swirl around their mouth and that like, oh, you drink yeah. that and you stop it. You know, that drives me nuts. Oh, well. I drove a group up to Rainbow, New York.
few weeks ago, they have the fairgrounds up there. They have the Wine Fest. Rhinebeck is very well known for that. Three large buildings filled with New York wineries. Oh. And you paid a fee and got a bracelet. And you could sample the wine. They gave you a glass and you sample the wine of all the different Oh, wow. So you're really whacked out before it's over, I guess. Well, you could be. I was driving, so yeah. I didn't sample what, Driving what? Uh, many, uh, senior center. Took a whole bunch of oh, okay, okay. They all come back lit up. <laughs> Can I tell you a, a, quick, a quick story about when my mom passed away, first went into assisted living. She said, Mr. Morrow, we have to have a, a, a meeting with you. I said, by the way, your language is very inappropriate. I said, don't swear. He said, no, no, you, you can't go telling them. What do you call them? Fine, you have to go stay there. Can't go telling him to go out and get hanged. <laughs> so he went and had a meeting. <laughs> yeah, he you know, he After it was over, uh, well, I think we accomplished the today. He said, Where were you? From the desk. <laughs> so I leave. Okay. Right. I know that they say all they want to use a rocking chair on the porch out of their hair. Now everybody's rocking. Yeah. So I, I walk out and say, Hi, everybody. You know, I've got about five steps down the porch. Stop. They don't like this too much. Let's use my language. Hey, Dylan. Hey. Around, I want all of you to go out and get tanked. Have fun. Get the damn kite. I mean, look, look, oh. look at the the light they have. Oh, I mean, so why did they get tanked? Yeah. Well, and then my friend who's a, okay. who's a nurse back there. Like the three doctors did, and they No, we're going to get the people drinks every night. Why shouldn't they? I'll love to do that. Thank you. My language is inappropriate because I'm telling you to go out and get back. Oh, I'm a bad guy. I'm a mean man. You know, I'm a real threat to society now. So. God, let people live a little bit. Don't let them just exist. Let them live. Get ripped. Get buzzed. I'm poor. Yes. I got the, I you got take everything the away. Yeah, it's, like, it's like, yeah. It's like when they, when they, when they bust moonshiners, like, like instead of going after real kingpins, real criminals. You're drinking they, a liquid. So they, they, the guys are, have a still in the woods. So what? Uh, Come on, please, please. It's insane, Jimmy. And a menu, please. But we do. They have no, we do as a society. They it's have Saturday. absolutely nothing better to do than to bother moonshiners. You're making moves. Would you rather go out and murder people then? Okay. There you All go. Right, so I yeah, but I bet I bet their politicians, are, their political corruption is much worse than damn moonshine. Yeah, you wonder how many politicians had their finger, hands in that till too, Jimmy. Come on now. That's because they're not collecting anything. No, they were collecting. It was illegal collection. Was that correct? On that number. I mean, they're like Boss Hogg from the Dukes of Hazard. Hell yeah. It's all a big joke. Maggie, could you have another <laughs> plate full? No, I don't want to worry. This, this is good. It's good, isn't it? It's all this, I'm going to go it. I'll be right back. Better frame of mind. Yes. Be. The wings. How many wings you get? Ten. Can I get all flat? Hot, please. Oh. Smoke. Oh, God, my knee. Most I'm up, I'm okay. You mean you have more pain when you're seated? Well, it seems to tighten a little bit. I'll be right back. Okay. Thank you. Oh, wow. Serious, the score of the Georgia's game. Uh, 
Oh, so that's how you use that thing? Yeah. I never, I never did it before. Siri, what's the t what's the score of the Georgia's football game? Yeah. Here's what I found on the web for what's the score of the Georgia football game? Hey, Dad. What happened? Oh. Oh boy. Yeah, but between the the way the air, air conditioning is working properly here, now I'm convinced that what they're doing it was deliberate over there. Oh yeah, I'm sure. No excuse for that. If others can do it, why can't you? Come on. Man. Yeah, I mean. All these years, no, no. You see how comfortable it is here? Yeah. You don't hear anybody say, man, it's cold or man, it's hot as hell. Yeah. Well, even hospitals sometimes are freezing. Well, bacteria, they have to. They have to do with that, okay. Little meteor. To me. Oh, man. <coughs> yeah, it seems like Ryan's job is perfect for him. Oh, yeah. Wow, look at that, look at that, right? Up yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it's good. Make sure you score the touchdown, then you dance. Good, good, good. The heck? They got a capital letter I on the side of their helmet. Ooh. That's exciting. That that that, that college team. Oh, Indian, well, that's their name, Indiana. Oh, yeah, it's true. I mean, they could put the mascot there instead of an I, an I. Yeah. Well, look at University of Miami. Why do you put a U? Yeah, you're There's right about that. Hundreds of thousands of universities. Why do you have an M? Like, what? Univ U for you. university. Come on, man. No, everybody, yeah, there's so many universities. That's just stupid. <coughs> or the Cleveland Browns have nothing. Nothing. Well, like orange tomatoes. helmets. You're right. Look like tomatoes running around the field. <laughs> <laughs> the ways are great. They yeah, have put, nothing. Put, no logo and no wins. Put something <laughs> on a, a pit bull or a bull yeah. bone or something. <laughs> Thank you. Chasing a tomato. Right? Well, most people don't even know. What is a brown? That's their yeah, founder, yeah, Paul yeah. Brown. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh how eager maniacal that is. Huh? Paul Brown. Let me name the team after myself. Brown. <laughs> <laughs> At least the Bengals have the same orange, but they have the stripes. Yeah. Is that too much? Yeah, that's a nice looking. Do they have a stripe now? Or they still no, they always have. They've always had the stripes. Now, why are the Steelers logo only on one side of the helmet? I always wondered. There's why. a good reason for that, and I forgot what it was. Somebody explained it to me. <clears throat> but I'll tell you right now, after all these decades, if they put it on both sides, it would not look right. Mm. We're so used to it being on one side. Yeah. Yeah. It's really no football teams or baseball teams named up the insects if you know <laughs> like like the hornet but, well there's the charlotte georgia hornets. tech my georgia Char tech the yellow jackets the yellow jackets <laughs> there you right. go he's right charlotte hornets what there about what about gnats gnats i Nobody. think there is a school called that yes there is the gnats yes there the is gnats ga you know those little things there's a school in the midwest called belfry Obviously, it's belfry bats. Got your bats in your belfry. Is the same yeah, thing. Gnats don't bite you per se, they just pester you. Yeah, I don't you're know. talking about names, so yeah, yeah, yeah. real pesty. Yeah, I wonder what they eat. Probably the same thing as moths. Now you're getting yeah. off on the insects. Stay with the names. See, we just named you two right there. Yellow Jacks Hornets, yeah. Jackets Hornets. Well, that's a cool insect. 
you know. Well, to, but you I, said there were no names. Well, that's what we said. No, I no, said no. no to very few. Yeah, we had them, so there's more. Yeah, I know. I said, well, I said the Charlotte Hornets uh, basketball team, right? Yeah. Charlotte Hornets. <clears throat> Charlotte, that, that city grew fast. Like, like first it was Atlanta that had a yeah, rapid growth. It's a nice airport. I've been there. The, Char the airport in Charlotte, North Carolina. Oh. Aggie? Oh, he's talking. He's taking it. Hello? Oh, boar, I'm sorry. Oh, that's a cool. We got the wild boar. Where? In the middle of that field. They have a wild boar with the tusks sticking out. I saw Razorback. Oh, there you go. Oh boy. Wow. No. Whoa. Jesus. There's an ancient Egyptian pharaoh named Agamemnon, so I said Agamemnon. Agatha, as uh, Polish for Agatha. Agatha. You control pyramids. Now Akhenaten. Oh God, here we go. Why do you explain everything? It's like Why do you explain everything? He was a god. He was a man god, or well, why do you do that? He was the first man. Why do you do that? Because education, it, I know, but why do you the mind him? is a terrible thing to waste. Yeah, you do. I mentioned, say, boo. You spoil. Well, you Let me tell you something. Just, I, 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 just talk and don't explain and define everything's origin. Oh. <coughs> well, you, don't you want to? No, no, I Inflate don't. your brain cells? No, they're inflated enough. Okay. Check on the <clears throat> Let me tell you a story. My yeah, name is Jed. Not too well. Listen up, my dog. I'm not like years ago. Oh, yeah. Mary Tyler Moore show. Remember, you remember uh, Dick Van Dyke? Baxter, right? Oh, oh, that one. Okay. Well, that was the Dick Van Dyke show. Yeah, Mary Tyler Moore show, right? Ted Baxter. They had to go to Vegas for a convention. And they're on there. This beautiful girl came on to Ted. He was in love with Georgette. Remember the right. plot? He goes into Lou's room. Oh, Lou, what am I going to do? I can't do. It. I love Georgette. I can't, I just can't. I can, you know. But I just can't. <laughs> it was so funny how he changed his voice, you know. Ah, Ted Knight. He was good. He was oh, good. Ted Knight, yeah. He died young. I even rem remember um, Jack Cassidy, uh, uh, David, uh, Shirley Jones's first yeah. husband. or he Jack. died in a fire. Yeah, he was smoking on the couch. He fell asleep. Or, yeah. It was... Um, Oh, yeah. I think the kid who died, David Cassidy. I think he's dead. He's dead now. He passed away about four years ago. Yeah, David Cassidy lived in Florida. He had a lot of issues. Do you remember the L.A. Law? What a great show! It's one of the top. It's considered one of the top ten endings in TV history. Oh, the far Douglas Brackman, the ball lawyer, had a problem with fashions every time he got into move with his wife. Right. So he goes to his what? A sexual surrogate. So the show goes on, the whole story for you know, At the end of the show, he's there with his surrogate. She's going, 
can stop. You know what facho it means when you fart. Yes, I know. I know that. She said, kiss me, Douglas. <laughs> Hold me, Douglas. Come close to me, Douglas. They start to slink down. The screen turns to black and all you hear is... <laughs> It was, I went hysterical. I have never forgotten that. It's nothing like a good slapstick humor with, oh, that with was so flatulence, you know? It was so good. I know, buddy. Aggie, can I have my check, please? No, I got your beer. Oh, you do? Thanks, You had, you had a yinling, right? I do. Or two yinlings? Yeah. You want some money? I just leave her, leave her a tip. What should I leave, you think? Two? No, no, I no. You know what? Don't, don't worry, bud. You sure? Yeah. Oh, thank you, Jimmy. No, he's he's got. No, it. I got Thanks. it. I got it. Thanks, Jimmy. <laughs> L.A. Law. Good oh man. <laughs> what are you doing? Nah, I felt some hairs on my ears. I plucked them out. Can't can't deal with it. Because all geezers have hair on, hair hairs on their ears. It's kind of geezer geezer thing. Like nose like nose hairs. Yeah. Yep, this is a perfect temperature right now. It's just comfortable. It's just nice. It's comfortable, yeah. It feels like like a 70 or 72. Why does every place get it right except over here? Gee, yeah. It seems to be a pattern with over there. Oh, they just can't get it right. My coffee this morning, I had to go back. It was not even warm. I said, Daisy, this is not even warm. I said, this. They've got more issues and problems. I don't get it. I'm like, what's wrong? What is and thank, wrong and thank, here, and thank God you, they let you in to get that jacket. Oh. <clears throat> is that, that thing, <coughs> if, you, if you had to zip that to the top, you don't even need a scarf. I know. That's what's great about them. <coughs> There's no excuse for this, though. Nah, it's just common sense management. You don't even have to be brilliant or smart. Well, you're not involved if, if you don't walk over and feel every zone. You know, come on. Yeah, wouldn't that if be? You should walk over and say, whoa, why is it when you're making this guy when I said, Zeke Stone, come over here. And you walk over and went, oh, shit. You know, I saw, I saw a McDonald's commercial last night about... Yeah about how McDonald's uh, trains people oh no you don't in customer service in, no, in optimal no, you don't no, optimal no, customer no, service you don't. not you but you're a liar you're a liar. the commercial obviously doesn't know about this they person. don't know about the yeah. yeah for everyone else I mean I don't know and how that sign on the door how are we doing we want to hear from our customers oh, really? blah, 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 blah. I'm like, oh. when you do you do nothing about anything how many people pay attention to reviews on Google? No. I, I got tons of reviews. Listen. Oh, damn it. I forgot to... I got to do the uh, the Gabriel's uh, Bar and Gorilla. What is it called? Gorilla and Bar? It's spelled with... There's an E at the end, right? Yeah. What are you talking about? I'll call it Gorilla and Bar. No, no, I, I I wanted to give a review for this place, how great it was. But what's the gorilla thing? Well, instead of grill, I'm making, I'm mocking it. I'm saying gorilla. Oh. It's not really gorilla. So people attempt the humor. I get it. I'm going to run out and have a cigarette and head up, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. You're going to, you're going to leave her at the cigarette, right? Yeah, I'm going to shoot up. Okay. okay. Yeah. Thanks, Jimmy. I'll get you. Yeah. Remember, remember the days when... The days when we like painted the town red on Saturday. And they were like old fag asses and shit. Saturday night, Saturday night. Now it's more like Saturday afternoon. That's about <laughs> all we can do. Oh. Painted the town red. And that was uh, the Clint Eastwood Spaghetti Western, Mordecai, right? They painted the whole town. That was. Was that red? Yeah, it was red, but what movie? It was High Plains Drifter or Fistful of, Fistful of Dollars? That could be High Plains. So I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. They were all great movies. I mean, uh, The Good and the Bad and the Ugly. Those are the only three I really... 
You should have were more. He was at the midget. Yeah, it was Mordecai. He was, he was the Wizard of Oz or something. Yeah, he he worked in the in the um, in the uh, the barber shop where where Clint Eastwood had a bath. Yeah. If you want to call it a bath, it was like a like a metal Can you tub. Living back in that day, with a... I don't think they bathed too often. I'm glad they went there. <laughs> Jesus. Well, you told me about the condoms being a dirty sock. They took off a sock. Are oh, you God. kidding me? Oh my God! Are you out of your mind? Oh, help me! Oh, you imagine the, the disease back then. Oh Lord. God. Oh boy. But the red light district really did begin in the Wild West. Yeah, but it, still. But still, yeah. <coughs> All right, buddy. Thanks. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you later soon. tomorrow, okay? Yeah. All right, Jimmy. Thanks. Fellas, have a good night, okay? Okay, departing Gabriel's Grill and Bar, Bananas Comedy Club. All right, it was another amusing shooting the shit. Mega Life 21 Mayhem shooting the shit. Oh, the bus from Toronto is gone. There's another unmarked bus. Okay. Okay. Parking for electric cars only. There we go. Interesting. What do you think? This is the hookup for electric vehicles. Sema Connect is the name of the company. What's this called? Charge Pro? Charge Pro. It's where they charge up. <laughs>